So now let's add some sort of sound to the game here. So in first of all, let me save it. And in the start menu here, we are going to simple load a sound that will be keep on looping and looping until we press the start button here. For that, I'm going to go into the main camera and I'm going to create some sort of, uh, sorry, uh, some sort of audio source here. And in this audio source, you can drag and drop your sound. So let me head back into this, my desktop here. I've created these two songs here and I'm going to go into this unity here and I'm going to paste it. Uh, it's going to take some time. Now you can see that I have created this touch click sound for the click whenever I, uh, the sound whenever I touches the piano tiles here and this sound that should be running in the background of this starting scene here. So what I'm going to do is that in the main camera here and uh, the audio sort we have added, I'm going to drag and drop that into this audio clip here. And uh, I'm going to click on the loop here so that whenever this uh, sound uh, is going to end, then this other sound, then it's going to start again. So let's see what happens and hear it. And you can see that now. You can simply hear the sound that is now generating. So let's uh, go, let's save it and go, I'm going into the main scene here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add some sort of sound to it. So I'm not going to add some sort of audio clip listener to the main camera here. Instead, I'm going to add it in the tile action here because the tile action is the thing in which we have some sort of script attached to it, which works whenever we click on it. So where it is reload all and in the script that is attached to the tile here which is also called the tiles action split uh, first of all what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a public audio source or audio clip and going to name it as the touch sound and the other thing that I'm going to do is that whenever we are calling this touch function here we are going to call that sound in here what I'm going to do is that audio source dot play clip at point in this I'm going to pass the reference of uh, this touch sound here that is basically touch sound and the other thing is that on which thing uh, it which point it should be playing so I'm going to say that this should be playing at uh, sorry comma transform dot position because we want it to be playing on the same position let's save it and head back into the unity here and let it update now i think we have got some sort of audio clip here let it update yeah we have got this uh, empty space over here so we can drag and drop where is that in that okay so we are going to I'm going to put it back into the assets here so that we can access on the piano here. What I'm going to do is that drag and drop this touch click here. Now let's see what happens when we click on that piano tile. You can see that you can hear the touches coming out of it whenever I click on that. You can see that you can hear it there. So at the end, what we are going to do, we are going to add some sort of ending game as well. So for that, let's head back into the ending scene here. And in this, in the main camera here, we are going to add a audio source here. And audio source, we should add some sort of clip to it. So I'm going to add the same uh, clip that I have used for the game menu. So I'm going to add the audio clip and I'm going to set it to the loop here. And now let's see what happens. Now, first of all, head it back into the main menu. You can see that, but the thing is that uh, this audio is lagging because it is starting up a bit late. So I'm going to head back into the audacity and I'm going to change it afterwards. You can change it yourself because I will be posting this uh, resource file of this project here and scripts here. So you can change whatever you want. You can, uh, you can do whatever you like to do. And you can see that all working just fine uh why it isn't ended it, uh, why this thing is not ending is because we haven't uh, changed back our value which we have uh, i think in the tile action here yeah we have checked it too we have placed it as a comment so i think now it will end the game and now it's your time to do some kind of uh, you can add some uh, cool animations you can change the logic you can add your own sounds 
now you can see that it is giving us the main score here so i'm going to pause it so uh, i think uh, i have created all of the things that are necessary for our game to uh, do 